Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Tissue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Superman, Superboy, The Man of Tomorrow, issue number three. This is written by Kenny Porter with art by Jano Lince and letters by Lucas Gatoni. In chapter three, Superboy's team up with the Cosmeteers is yielding rocky results. While they're taking down many of the Dominator X's labs, their team dynamics leave much to be desired. Can this new quartet pull themselves together when Dominator X unleashes the most monstrous creation yet, the Hulkling Infinity? Um, so, yeah, things are getting very difficult. But uh, before we get into that, let's take a look at uh, just some of the preview art here because I want to focus on how much fun I feel uh, both Kenny Porter and uh, Jan Lindsay are having working on this series or as they worked on this series uh i love connor i think he's one of my favorite characters to follow along uh and just the character designs the creations there's a few other you know characters that we see in these alien worlds that i think are a lot of fun i i don't know where the collaboration like you know i don't know how much description uh Lindsay's getting from from kenny uh and some of these character designs and i also just really love the approach here like the big the big arrow pointing down and then you know Connor finally smashing it with this big crash sound effect uh just fully fully utilizing that and Connor's very cocky but I really like that his teammates kind of call him out on all that stuff too because he's not perfect right he's looking for something um to recapture something from his glory days he's looking to kind of become his own man uh you know stand out from the family and that's why he's taken off the space he's found a new team which hopefully you know we think that that may lead to somewhere good um i will say the only thing i don't know and these are the preview art as you can see the pages are a little bit cropped but every page has like this big white border around it i'm not a big fan of that i prefer the art to be very a lot closer to the gutters um, I don't know what the design choice is here. I don't know if this is kind of a, a mandate. I don't know how it really works, really. But, I mean, I just feel like we could get a little bit more art or a little bit more of the panels if we were to use the full page, kind of like we see here in the second page, right? It doesn't have a white border. We get a lot more art. We get a lot more panel. Uh, I don't know. The, the white borders sometimes take me out of the story a little bit. Uh, a lot of the times I do read these in guided view, so that helps. Uh, but it's really interesting. It's a very fun story. We're getting to what I feel is uh, one of the first obstacles that Connor's going to face uh, because it looks like this team of the Cosmeteers are are hiding something, uh, but we don't really know what that is yet. But I feel like it's about to be revealed soon. Uh, and, and I think Kenny and, and the team have really been playing this uh, slow game, uh, trying to build the confidence here. Uh, so, yeah, Connor's a really fun character to uh, follow along also this week uh this issue has three amazing covers like i don't know how i'm gonna pick when i get to the shop to pick it up uh you'll see them at the end of the video let me know which one you end up picking up uh so yeah very very excited for this series one of my favorite things that dc is publishing at the moment uh so if you have read this let me know what you thought about it down in the comments as always Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.